Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. I recently did a video showing one way that you can avoid merge conflicts and scenes by using prefabs, and that's one great technique, but it's also possible to merge your scenes. I want to show you how to set that up now. You actually need to do some little bit of modification in source tree and just switch your default merge tool and then it'll work. So let me run through the steps real quick of getting a merge conflict and then I'll show you how, the, how we can set it up to actually fix this and do the merge. So I've got two areas here in my scene, a north and a south area. One has cubes, one has cylinders. I'm in my master branch right now. Here you can see I've got a little bit of branch history. I've got the master branch for me working and then another branch which I'm just pretending is my son working remotely. So I'll duplicate this north area and let's just make a west area. West area. And this is me working on stuff. I've done some things over here. Right? So I go in, save my scene, and let's do a commit. So this is Jason adding the west area. Alright, select my stage or stage my scene. Hit commit. Cool. Now in imaginary land, my son Joey is over here. He doesn't have this west area yet. He's remote, working on other stuff, and he wants to make his own area. And maybe he breaks this prefab instance. And he uh, duplicates the south area. Let's do that. So he duplicates the south area, and I'll just have him make an east area to make this simple. So there we go. He's made a section over here. So he has a north and a south, but he doesn't have anything to the west or the east. And his north is two cubes. It's not a bunch of cylinders like mine was. So he saves his scene, and he does the commit. So he makes a created east area. And we're gonna stage that and commit it, cool. So now we've got both of these here and I'll switch back to being me. And now I wanna pull in Joey's changes. I want his east area. So I hit merge and I get the dialog asking if I'm sure I wanna merge and I hit okay. And now I've got a merge conflict. So I go over to my working copy, take a look and it's confusing All right i've got this is definitely not just auto merged right if i look at the head here the joey's tag here there are changes here and it's not really human readable i mean you might be able to decipher it but it would be hard and if i went into like resolve conflicts launch external merge tool i don't have anything set up so it's not going to work All right here, let's see. You can see it's not actually giving me a nice clean merged file. In fact, there's nothing running at all because I don't have a normal merge tool up. But a normal merge tool isn't going to catch this and it isn't going to know what to do here. So let's just remove these files real quick. And I'm going to restart my merge. Restart merge. And then we're gonna go into tools and options. And then under the diff section, what we wanna do is change the merge tool. We wanna to switch it to custom. And we wanna use the Unity YAML merge executable. So this is located in, here, let me just pull this over so you can see it. It's in the editors folder. So wherever you're, you have this version of Unity installed, the editor, data, tools, and then Unity YAML merge.exe. And then for the parameters, we just need this right here. And this is all up on the Unity site. I'll post a link in the description. So you put that into the arguments, hit OK. Now if I right click, resolve conflicts, launch external merge tool. And I should get a nice clean merged file. There we go. So now you can tell that there's no more head tags in here. It looks like it's actually merged. And let's jump back over to the editor and see how it looks. There we go. So I've got my changes. North area has cylinders. Um, the west area has cylinders. The east area is there. Now there is a little bit of a mess here. And that's the north area is duplicated. 
And again, this is one of the reasons I recommend avoiding merging scenes. Because you are going to end up with cases like this where a prefab changes to something else and then it comes in as a new object and the state's not exactly the same. So you could end up with a little bit of extra duplicate stuff. So minimize needing to merge if you can, but if you do, you know, make sure that you have the tool set up so that you can actually make these merges and not have to go back and recreate things. It's a lot easier to do that and then go in and delete the extra thing than it is to do a big copy and rework a bunch of stuff. So hopefully this is a little bit helpful. If you have questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you like the video, don't forget to like and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.